Canada Tape, sponsored by the United States Marine Corps. The few, the proud, the Marines. Garcia, 31 years of age. Granados, 29. Granados with a one-inch height advantage. Both weigh in at 146 pounds. Granados with the five-and-a-half-inch reach advantage. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you. And welcome to Dignity Health Sports Park in Carson, California, as Premier Boxing Champions presents the featured bout of the evening, brought to you by MGM Resorts and Brooklyn Boxing. This bout is sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission. The chairman is John Carvelli. Introducing our judges scoring from ringside, we have Tim Cheatham, Dr. Lou Moret, and David Sutherland. All right, fans, he we go 12 rounds of boxing in our welterweight special attraction and now ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world live from carson california it's time for the fox pbc fight night main event of the Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing baby blue trunks with red and white trim, hailing from and proudly representing Chicago, Illinois. He weighed in at already 146 pounds, his record 20 wins, 6 losses and 2 draws, with 14 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the popular and exciting welterweight warrior, introducing Adrian, a Tigre Granado! And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, Wearing lime green trunks with black trim, he is fighting out of and proudly representing his home of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He weighed in at 146 and three quarter pounds. With a record of 34 wins and two losses, he has 20 wins coming by way of knockout. A veteran of nine world title appearances and a current top welterweight contender. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the former two division champion of the world, introducing Danny Swift Garcia. Garcia and Granados. Close captioning available for tonight's telecast. If you would like to hear the broadcast in Spanish, click over to the simulcast on Fox the Deportes. Good. Ready? Ready? Underway, scheduled for 12 in the welterweight division. Neither of these fighters have ever been knocked out. Garcia 34 and 2, Morales 26 and 2. Garcia in the green trunks. Been a good change tonight because uh, these guys, as they warm up, they're going to be throwing a lot of punches. You can see Granado starting his typical style, which is to come at you and let his hands go. Danny's really going to start him slow, but uh, in this fight, he definitely has to start a little faster. But he's just measuring. This is the first time these guys have been together. So. He right, does that great counter left hook you were talking about with Garcia right there. He'll lean back and throw that hook. He'll drop his head down. You don't think it's coming. You think he's looking at your body. He'll drop that hook right over the top on you. And then he's got a sneaky right hand to do. When he uh, knocked out Brandon Rios, I mean, pretty much ended his career with that right hand. He's got a very hard right hand. Even though he doesn't have a lot of knockouts, per se, on the way here. He's, he's still got a very strong punch, so Granado's got to be careful not to keep that left hand low because he's going to get sucked by that right hand. But he's doing quite well right now, keeping busy, moving around. And Danny's got a lot of poise. He's, he's looking to land that right hand, but he's, he wants to get that jab in, in there first. Garcia in with Philadelphia. Granado's from the Chicago area.
Good right uppercut by Granados. One minute remaining in round one, scheduled for 12 from Carson, California. Here's that right hand. A little dip and a little slip, and then right hand is that counter hook you were talking about earlier. And it really is a real accurate punch guys, for Garcia. Look out of that, guys. Let go of the arm. Let go of the arm. Punch is landed. Nine for Garcia. Granados with 11 over the first two and a half minutes. Kenny Albert with Lennox Lewis, Joe Goosen, and Heidi Ampro from Dignity Health Sports Park in Carson. Ten seconds remaining. Listen for the bell, gentlemen. Listen for that bell. So, got six months and a day later, guys, they're getting back in the ring. Listen, that's a fight I want to see again. That was a great fight the first time. Um, you know, a lot of people felt that Charlo won it. And, um, you know, I, I believe he won it too. But um, the judges felt differently. So, we have to see it again. And it's going to be exciting once again. I think there's going to be one instance where the rematch is going to be better than the original fight. I guarantee it. It's going to be a lot more fireworks. Both guys are going to have guys. to really work right, stop, with this fight. Stop, no punch, no punch, straight back. Or Charlo to win it. Go, right? June 23rd on Fox. How did you score the first round of this one, Joe? I thought Garcia landed the heavier punches. Um, you know, Granados was busy, but I think Garcia landed the heavier punches, the more telling punches, and he probably won it because of that. But not because Granados isn't trying and isn't letting his hands go. He is. He's landed seven combinations. But I thought Garcia's punches were heavier. How about you, Lennox? Uh, I thought Garcia won, especially in the late, in the late part of the round. He hit Granados uh, with some good right hands up against the wrist. But this is what you're going to have to contend with if you're Garcia. A guy that keeps on coming, keeps warming, and keeps his hands going. And you know what? He may end up out punching you for three to four to one. So, whatever Garcia throws, it has to be Oh! oh, oh by wow. Garcia! Oh, that was a counter six, left hook. Seven, right on the eight. chin. Come here. You all right? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Danny Garcia knocking down Adrian Granados in round two. As I said, if you can knock down Granados, knock Granados down, you, you're, you're really doing something. If he doesn't get knocked out. I told you, Danny controls some heavy punches, and he's throwing those good right hands right now. He has to take his time. He has to go back to that left hook right hand right now and, and maybe hit, hit him to the body a little bit. Well, he's swinging for the fences. He's looking for the knockout right now. And if Granados pops that chin up again like he did on that counter punch he got hit with, he's going to be in big trouble. Remember, neither of these fighters have been knocked out in their professional careers. Oh. <laughs> Ronalds can't see that left hook coming. He's shown a lot of heart trying to come back, trying to get back in this fight somehow. But he just doesn't have the firepower at this stage right now to stop Garcia and the onslaught that he's bringing this round. And Garcia is showing a lot of poise, a lot of patience, picking his shots like he should. Oh, oh big right by Garcia! Granados down for the second time. Five, six, seven, eight. You all right? All right. Let's go. Listen for that bell, guys. Listen for the bell. Time! But early in the fight, you can't get hit with shots like that. Or late in the fight, for that matter. A look at Garcia's twin sisters, star singers. He is their manager. The Cianchi twins. It's going to be a very dangerous round for Ganadas right now. This is probably so wobbly and hurt from that last round of two knockdowns. This is a do or round for him. If Garcia can close out the show, he's going to try it right now. Right, as you talked about those hooks from Garcia, and we saw them in round two. Oh, yeah, he's got great timing with those left hooks, and, uh, you know, it's surprising because even if somebody comes at him with punches, he starts off with a left hook. Yeah, 
see he's throwing left and right hooks. Exactly what I was telling him that he needs to do. And, and points him out keys for victory. Well, now Garcia is pot shotting uh, Granados. Now, Granados took those shots better than he did. Sometimes you can get used to getting hit hard, uh, but not, you know, it's not going to last long. But he took those two shots really good from Garcia. He's keeping his hands up a little bit better, but man, they're coming in hot and heavy. So now Garcia really should go to the body, trying to, you know, break him down a little, a little bit. Hit him to the body, bring his hands down, then hit him to the head. Well, they just listen to you because you went down him three times. A right left up the back, another right up the to the body, and then he's going to try to sneak up to the head like that. He's able to miss. Granada's got to be careful. When he's punching, he can't drop his hands like that. This is what's going to get him the big trouble. Granada's up against the ropes. Oh, good right by Garcia. Partially blocked by Granada. He's keeping his hands up a little bit better. And I'll tell you, it's in the exchanges that he's going to get clipped while he's punching. Right now, he's, he's being a little bit more defensive minded with his hands up when, when Garcia's starting to close the gap. But he's in dangerous territory right now. He's just leaving his chin up too much for my taste. So I'd be very, very worried if I were in his corner right now. You know, this nose is bleeding a little bit, so he, he got punched in the nose with that right hand or right hook. Good combination by Garcia. And he's taking a pounding right now, and his face is showing it. Seconds remaining in round three. A couple of good, good body shots by Granados and a little left up against the belly. At least he's, he's trying to score and he's getting his hands in there a little bit. It's his defense that he's got to be very concerned about and he's got to be very attentive to. That will do it for round three. Schedule for 12. Look at Adrian Granados who was knocked down twice in the second round by. Danny Garcia, as we get set for round four. Over to Heidi Antrol. Heidi. Thank you very much, Kenny. Angel, what is key in this round? Jab, and beat him up. Hit him on the inside, work him down to knock him out. All right, perfect. Game plan. Thank you. Thank you, Kenny. All right, that's Angel Garcia, Danny's father slash trainer. Now, in the other corner of Granados, the doctor made a visit in between rounds, and Granados just told the doctor, I'm fine, I'm doing well. So the doctor left it at that. But then his uh, trainer, uh, George Hernandez, told Granados, stop slugging with him, get on your horse, and start moving and boxing the guy. But he's really not doing it. His instincts are to fight, and he's not the type of guy that wants to move around and box. Let's see if he listens to his trainer. Granados' his timing's off. I mean, he, he sees the punch coming, but he can't move out of the way of it. Yeah. It's basically a right hook that he's throwing, and the right hook's coming way around the corner, so you can see them coming. It's not like a straight shot you, can see, you can't see coming. Well, it's one of the reasons Garcia was a great champ, and they probably was getting his title soon enough because he's a very accurate puncher. He's a very good counter puncher. And right there, look at that. That slipping and sliding like that. Not easy to hit. Granados is in for a tough fight tonight. Oh! Another oh, right by Garcia. Nice shot by Granados. Danny Garcia, the former two-division world champ. Marcos Viegas, how have you scored it over the first three rounds? Man, Danny Garcia's on fire right now. I have a 30-25 because of the knockdown, you know. Danny's really turning the page here with one of the major criticisms people have had over his career, and that's his volume. As you see here, just landing punches, really letting uh, his hands go in there, and he's looking great so far. Final minute, round four.
Well, Granados is, is at least somewhat following in the instructions of Juan Fernandez in the corner. But again, you know, is he boxing to win or is he boxing to survive here? You know, and that's the thing. He looks like he's boxing to survive right now. Because Granny's got a lot more power than he does. He's feeling the power. He went down twice. And he doesn't really know what to do because he doesn't realize that he's getting caught by these punches. He's like, yo, where are these punches coming from? Time winding down. And round number four. And here's Garcia throwing a left to the body and a right hook. That's my Rockman punch right there. He's throwing it just <laughs> like me. You're right, but it, 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 here's that same punch there. Man. It's what, same what, punch, yeah. What, what, what Granados did do there, he starts to, not on that one, but he started to turn early and ride the punch out on the first one. Yes, he did. Yeah. yeah. Let's check in with Heidi. Thank you very much, guys. George, what did you say to Adrian coming into this round? Uh, just like everybody else, I'm worried, and I told him that if he keeps taking punches, we're going to stop the fight. What did he say to you? He says he's trying to set him up, and that uh, he counted him well, but that's not what I'm looking at, so, I'm, you know, if I have to, I'll stop the fight. Thank you. Kenny? Very honest words from George Hernandez. Yeah, and, and you know what? George is a great guy. He's been around forever. Oh, oh that's right it. Hand. That combination was amazing. He went down to the body first, then he came up with the head and a hey, left uppercut. You've got to show me something here, man. You've got to protect yourself. I see yourself. a short right hand Still. in there at the end? There was a lot of, you know, bodies moving around over there. But I almost, I almost saw a little short right hand at the end there. Bernardo's knocked down for the third time in five rounds. Well, George Hernandez is going to be closer and closer to make a decision here. Because if he goes down again, it's a fait accompli, and, you know, it's a point of no return for Granado, so it'll just get worse, so. So yeah. you think it's a big punishment, right? You will not even know that right now, but. One minute remaining in round five. Garcia's looking to slip that jab, come back over with that right hand counter. It's been working for him most of the night. Garcia can end this fight anytime he wants. All he has to do is throw like a six punch combination, but first he has to get Granados to up against the rope. Right. He's, he's got to get him to sit still a little bit because uh, Granados is, like you said, but he's, he's moving to survive right now. Because he's not throwing anything to really stop Garcia from trapping him down. I think he's surprised at Danny's power because, you know, Granados looks, looks fresh, but all of a sudden when he gets hit, he goes down. Oh, that left hook, that left hook from Garcia right there. That was a little low. Tom Taylor, the great nephew from California, called that. He didn't keep him up. Granados is already taking him up, but he doesn't need to get hit low, too. Doesn't look like there's any steam behind his punches whatsoever. Final seconds, round five. Boy, this is just a total lockdown. Adrian Granados told in his corner, you need a knockout to win. He's already been knocked down three times. He's never been knocked out in his career in 28 pro bouts. He was all, uh, not only told that he needs a knockout to win, which is, I think, patently obvious, um, but the fact of the matter is, is that his corner is threatening to stop it right now, George Fernandez. And I, and I think if he does sustain a, another couple of rounds or another round like the last couple, he, he does need to stop the fight. Yeah, I agree with that. You know, he, he needs to do something. Knocked down twice in the second round and then once in the fifth by Danny Garcia, the former two-division world champ. Look at Granados. He's, he's not giving up any ground. He heard what his trainer told him. And he said, look, I'm going to go down fighting. I'm going to go down on my shield right here. I'm not going to go down running away from Garcia. He's getting right back in the pit. And maybe he doesn't have the firepower to hold off or hurt Garcia. But he's going to he's gonna try. 
Giannis is a fighter. He, he, he'll go out on his shield. Yeah, he will. And he's been a fighter throughout his entire life. He told us it has not been your everyday career. He worked as a bus boy, a taxi driver, a Uber driver, worked at a bank full time, nine to five, and then had to go train at night. And now you know why he's never been stopped before. You know, because it just shows you his medal here. He's been hurt, he's been battered, he's been knocked down, and he says, he's been threatened by his corner now and the doctor, and he said, look, I'm going to go down and fight. But I believe in his mind, he thinks he could probably pull something off here. I don't think he's lost hope in himself. You know, some, sometimes when fighters get hurt, that brings another spirit out in them. And you know that fighting energy just comes out where they say, "Well, no, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna quit. I'm gonna try as hard as I can." And something happens for them sometimes. Yeah, I've seen it. And you've seen it. You're exactly right. Look at that nice little counter body. He, he, he just uh, does he hit him with the left hand to the body. The ground is probably with the right hand, left hook. So I mean, you know, he's still trying and he's still doing good things. Six scheduled for 12. Now, do, do you think Granado should have been inside the game? Yeah, I, I do, because he was he was getting the worst of it when he got pushed back to the ropes and sat on the ropes. I like it better when he forces himself and doesn't give Garcia that long punching move right now. Now, and plus, if he can have a, enough self-awareness to keep his hands in tight, Granado, and not drop him in close, he's got a chance to stay in this fight a little bit and maybe do something like that. And he let a nice little left up protect, short jab. He's not taking the big shots because he's burying his head. He's got to see his chest break. Yeah, this has been uh, one of Granado's better rounds throughout the fight. His hands are up, his hands are up pretty high, so, you know, he's protecting his face. Okay. Time winding down in round six. Sean Porter has been in the ring with both Danny Garcia and... Adrian Granados, Porter winning both of those bouts by a unanimous decision. One of only two defeats suffered by Garcia. See, Granados is, is elected to move forward, which means Garcia. Garcia has to has to step backwards. Well, he's choosing to step backwards and maybe look for a counter punch where he can get some leverage on it because he wasn't getting leverage on it when he was sitting in the pocket with uh, Granada. So he's choosing, I think, to look to try to catch him with a good, hard, long counter punch. I've got my pick right there. Okay. Granada's had a little bit of success on the inside when he kept his hands tight, closed up, and he stayed in a small package right there and stayed in, in Garcia's chest like that, like he's trying to do right there. But... If you listen to Angel Garcia in the corner to his son, he said, don't fight how he wants to fight, fight how you want to fight. And this is what he's talking about right here, getting rid of distance and doing what you want to do, not what he wanted to do. Because, like we said, the man has had a little success at it. Over to Heidi. That's right, Joe. I was just talking to George, and he said that's exactly what he wants him to do, fight on the inside. He's having a little bit of success there. But if this fight... Goes the wrong way. He's not afraid to call it at any point. All right, thanks, Heidi. Talking about George Hernandez and the brother of Adrian Granados. And right now, Granados just got hit with literally four, and that's it. That's it. He got hit with four great right hand counters. Good stoppage by the ref. That was a great, great stoppage. Great stoppage. And he told him before that. I'm back. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 1 minute 33 seconds in round number 7. A referee in charge, Thomas Taylor, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of knockout, Danny Swift Garcia. Garcia, the winner by knockout, Adrian Knock Brown, knocked out for the first time in his professional career. In his 29th pro bout, Granados dropping to 27 and 2.